Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series, Let's Play Suits, a business RPG. <laughs> and I'm sure that a few of you guys that have been with this channel for a long time are looking at this right now like, what the fuck is going on? This is so weird. And yes, it is weird. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll run it down for you real quick. So, I've been making videos for YouTube for about six years now, and never on this channel have I ever played an RPG game. Like, the closest thing that I've come to playing one was the Gauntlet games, um, but those are traditionally more of like a action-adventure, like dungeon-crawling, hack-and-slash type of game, with a little bit of RPG elements sprinkled into it. But this is like more of like your classic JRPG, like Final Fantasy type of deal, and that's why it's a weird experience. I, I generally don't play a lot of these types of games, but when I saw this one, it really it really caught my eye, and so I figured I had to give it a go. Um, so pr pretty much the premise of this game is that corporations have taken over the world, essentially, and now uh, there's like a revolution starting up, and so we get to we get to experience the world through one businessman as he kind of, you know, dives into corporate corruption, and so it seems like kind of an interesting plot, uh, plot line for a game. So... This game came out 10 days ago on Steam, and when I came across it, I saw that it was only 49 cents, and so I was like, shit, dude, I gotta get in on this. <laughs> but, like, it, I had I had a little bit of skepticism and, you know, some seeds of doubt planted in my brain, because anytime you see RPG Maker games like this that are super cheap, they usually end up not coming out very good. <laughs> but I started looking at the reviews, and it's been, like, overwhelmingly positive. It's been great. Like, people are loving this game right now, and, uh, and a lot of it is that people really love kind of this hand-drawn, scribbly art style. It kind of draws a lot of inspiration from another critically acclaimed RPG Maker game that came out a number of years ago called Off. Uh, and that's, like, been widely regarded as, like, one of the premier um, RPG Maker and indie games ever, really. And so... When I saw that, I was like, oh, this is going to be great, because I really want to play that game on this channel at some point, too. It is it is fantastic, from what I understand. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into this. I, from, from what I hear, this isn't a very long game, so it'll be a fun, short little experience, and there's, uh, there's a lot of humor in here. There's a lot of really dry humor and a lot of just awkward stuff, and like some political humor in there, too, for those of you guys that like it. So, I think it'll be a little bit of something for everybody, as we kind of dive into something very new for me on this channel. Uh, so let's uh, let's break it down and apply for work. Oh, I'm gonna try to move my mouse cursor over here. They're definitely making bread right now. <laughs> Nothing like them. Uh, what is this like a grilled cheese factory or something? What the fuck is that? That's supposed to be like bologna or? Yeah, they're definitely making sandwiches right now. I just don't know what kind of sandwich that is. That better not be bologna. That stuff's gross. Nothing like all them sandwiches shipped off in boxes <laughs> taken away by drones. <laughs> oh, that, that would be great, dude. I'd love to have... I would love to have a grilled cheese sandwich delivered to me in a box via, uh, you know, one of those uh, little drone deals. Welcome to Suits Business School. Or Suit City Business School. <laughs> I don't have legs or arms. <laughs> or, or hands, I'm sorry. He definitely has arms. Since corporations control our government and society, it's business or bust. Now, please provide us with your name so we can make your name tag and get you out into business world where you get to work, dot dot dot, for the rest of your life. <laughs> he looks so excited about it. He's like, no, you really don't want to work for the rest of your life, but you have to anyways. Press X to backspace, space to select. That's a really weird control stream there. The guy. That's uh, interesting. Well, you know what? I'm gonna name. Uh, I'm gonna name this guy off of uh, one of my favorite things from Rick and Morty. <laughs> First, they take the dingle bop and they smooth it out with a bunch of schleem. <laughs> I love that fucking thing about the plumbuses. That is <laughs> that is probably my favorite thing in that show. That's an odd name, <laughs> but whatever floats your boat. Make sure you pass this course. If you fail, the suits will have you sent to the factory fields to work the assembly lines. Well, nobody wants to work the assembly lines. That's where people get caught in lathes and get totally destroyed. Mr. Toots, or is it Tweets? I'm going to go out with Toots, since this is suits. Hello, Schleem. Welcome to your training course. So you may or may not know how to walk. <laughs> sure, why not? Some suits haven't been fully cooked. That's gross. So we have to show them how to fall in line. 
Use the arrow keys to move towards the exit. It seems easy enough. Is there anything to, to have in here? Okay. A little bit of clipping. Congratulations! You can... Why are those people so small? Oh, that's gross. Now you're ready for the next lesson. Walk over to me and press the action key. The action key is space or enter. Yay, you did it! Go talk to your fellow classmates and see what they have to say. <laughs> Look at the clock over here. It's definitely 420. Blaze it up, son! Why is he so small? That's creeping me out. Quarter. Will you be my daddy? No. No, I won't. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Lil Bill. I just want to be like you when I grow up. Well, that's that's flattering. You only exist to work. Never stop working. Work life. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're... It's definitely... Nick Ol. <laughs> oh, I get it. His brother was Quarter. <laughs> I get it now. It's funny. It's only going to cost me $200,000 to graduate business school. Yeah, and then you're going to be in debt for the rest of your life. Yenry. As in, like, yen? Mr. Toot says if I work hard enough, I can become a CEO. That's awesome! Yes, it is awesome. Okay, how about you? Benjamin. Oh, like Benjamin Franklin. Hey, mister, I made this paper hat just for you! You got a paper hat. To access the menu, press escape. This menu allows you to access items, equipment, status, and options. Go to the equipment tab and equip the hat. Sounds good to me. I'm totally done with that. So let's uh, optimize. All right. Paper hat. Let's do it. Basic tie, suit, and cheap briefcase. All right. Oh, I don't like the fact he doesn't have a face. That's really, that's really freaking me out. You did it. I hope you made new friends. The kids seem to love you. You can also interact with many of the objects throughout Suit City. Try it out on that crate over there. When you are done, you can move on to the room. To get there quicker, you can press and hold shift to run. It's good exercise. <laughs> Probably more productive for work, I imagine. Let's go over to this crate here. You found a sandwich. Oh, good. <laughs> One of those sandwiches fresh out of the box. Some crates contain useful items. Some, not so much. What about these plants? Anna. June. May. Hmm. You know what? I don't know why. I just, I have this feeling in the pit of my gut that... We're gonna we're gonna encounter more of those, and we're gonna like want to write those down. So I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I know it's gonna be kind of tedious because I'll have to stop gameplay to write these things down sometimes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it just on the off chance that maybe something will happen out of that, or maybe there's like some sort of like cryptic message in there. So I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna write them down. I'm gonna try not to take too much time doing it though. Let's uh, let's try that sprinting deal. <laughs> I love the way his feet move. <laughs> It looks like his shoes are, like, switching in and out of being boots. <laughs> uh, it's creepy. What's up, little man with no face? Oh, it's little Bill again. I keep hearing strange noises coming from that crack in the wall. Well, then we should probably go check that out after we check out the, uh, the thing here. The finest of jokes are told here. You know, I've actually never had the opportunity of having uh, a water cooler like that that I could tell jokes at. Because I've never worked in, like, an office building. So, that's kind of a bummer. Mr. Nubs. <laughs> That's a great name. I've been trying to dig my way out of this secret room for over 15... 15 cycles? What the hell does that mean? I was thinking he was talking like years, but whatever cycles are. I only had my bare hands. Now they're just bare nubs. I'm getting out of here. Mr. N Mr. Nubs with a Z. <laughs> Kicks over the teacher's office key. Okay, well, let's take it. Let's roll. This music is kind of uncomfortable. Just like that one little burr, 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 burr. teacher's office. Oh boy. Mr. Toots, hey! How did you get in here? Well, I'm glad you're here. My stapler's been acting up. Do you think you could take a look at it? Uh oh. Oh, oh boy. We're in our first battle. Are we fighting against Mr. S Mr. Toots or are we fighting against his stapler? I think we're fighting his we're fighting his stapler. <laughs> okay. This music is so uncomfortable right now. This is what I this is definitely <laughs> he got fired. <laughs> That's funny. 
Schleem got the job done. 100 experience and some US dollars. Gotta stack that paper, you know? And we've been promoted to level 2. This is what I'm talking about, though, with that with that scribbly art style. Like, this reminds me totally of, of that off game. But I love it. It looks so awesome. You did it! You passed the final test of business school <laughs> by slapping my stapler until it got fired. Just remember, some people use tech points. TP rechargers as you, as you battle. Others use fuck you. <laughs> F you can only be refilled by drinking plenty of water. Okay. Now you're ready to graduate. Oh god, that's a lot of people. Oh, it's a pyramid, like the pyramid schemes. Congratulations, class of cycle 404. Oh, so that's what they meant by cycles. You are all going to be great businessmen. If any of you had parents, I'm sure they'd be proud. Oh, so they're all manufactured. That's creepy. Who's this guy? Lone Renzo? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Teach, I just got a call from the CEO. You mean the CEO of the office district? No, not that CEO. Financial? There are three CEOs in the financial, financial district, and I'm one of them. So not the financial district. <laughs> No, the supreme CEO of the entire city. Oh, the CEO. He has ordered us to recall this cycle's batch of school children. You might not want to watch this. What? Are they going to kill them all? Oh, dude, you he wouldn't kill them all. Well, you know how it is. It's just business. Of course it's just business. Everything's just business in here. Man, that's fucked up. They wouldn't kill all of them. It, it, Except for me, for some reason. I don't know why they would do that. Someone's lunch. I wonder if we have to go deal with this guy. Still 420, by the way. <laughs> all that happened. Liquidate. CEO Lone Renzo. Alright, let's go, let's go see what this is all about. Dino. Congratulations on graduating. Here's a complimentary water bottle. Don't worry about the price. We'll just take it out of your next paycheck. <laughs> Wait a minute, that means it's not complimentary. You fucking liar. Oh, uh, the Dean gives you a free, yeah, a free bottle of water. Okay, so, can I pick up the phone? I wonder what that's all about. Somebody's got to pick it up. CEO Roberts. Hello? Is this Schleem? I heard you graduated business school at the top of your class. <laughs> well, considering that my entire class got murdered brutally while I wasn't looking, then yes, I guess I did. We have a job opening for an executive salesman. Looks like it's just been filled by you. Head over to the office district and meet me on the 14th floor to receive your first task. Oh, before I go, I should tell you, you can use these phones to save your progress. That's awesome, actually, because we seem to have run out of time. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Suits of Business RPG, we're going to uh, head over to the office district and... Uh, and go meet up with that dude on the 14th floor and, and start our job. So, until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I, it's uh, it's definitely a, a different thing for me to be doing, but it's already it kind of it kind of has a little bit of a fun quality to it, so I'm enjoying it so far. Hope you guys will stick around and do it with me. So, until then, my friends, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.